Hey everyone, Timothy I'm Milam Jr. here and you're watching Milam Asylum. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and share and hopefully I earn your subscription. But if not, that's cool. I still appreciate you viewing this product. Anyway, today I am doing Craftwell Cocktails. Yes! Three different flavors. These were $11.99 a piece for four pack of 12 fluid ounces. Yes, I know. They're expensive. That's plus deposit. Or that's without deposit. So that's 40 cents on top of the $11.99 that I paid for in one of these. They're 10.5% alcohol by volume. So they're actually pretty high up there. These are a wine cocktail. I got grapefruit, strawberry, and pineapple. They're all margarita. Um, except for this one's a grapefruit polima. Um, but these are all crafted with real fruit in the Pacific Northwest. Yes. Uh, they are all gluten free. Anything else about them? Oh. Uh, real fruit and good times from the PNW. Crack a can and let the adventures begin. All right, serve on ice or chilled. One can equals two cocktails. Start your adventure with the reimagined grapefruit Paula my wine cocktail crafted with sweet and tangy ruby red grapefruit and agave nectar for a juicy and refreshing spin on this classic style. All right, these are wine-based cocktails, apple wine with natural flavors, contain sulfites, gluten-free. Please drink responsibly. If you're going to drink and drive, don't get caught. I'm fucking with you. Don't drink and drive. Don't be an idiot. All right, the strawberry run. The strawberry one. A West Coast rendition. The strawberry margarita wine cocktail shines with sun drenched strawberry sweetness, zesty key lime, and a subtle agave nectar finish. All right. And our pineapple. What do they say about this shit? All right, a tropical twist on the classic style. Our reimagined pineapple margarita wine cocktail is crafted with juicy, fresh Costa Rica gold, a pineapple, and zesty key lime. All melded together with an earthy agave nectar for a touch of sweetness. Indeed. All right, let's get the fuck crack clacking. All of these, uh, one can equals two cocktails. So, they claim. All right. Ugh, come on, bitch. What the fuck is going on? Oh. All right, pineapple. Pineapple sweetness. Strawberry. And drop fruit. Crap fruit. Alright. Let's get to crack a lacking. What? Alright. Anything else? So we got your typical regular aluminum cans with your sticker. I'm sure that they this is all like way cheaper. Um, of a production cost when you buy it and do this stuff um, individually. Because, I mean, any more of these days, you just buy a thing and you do your label on your computer and shit them out and slap them on an aluminum can. I mean, it's fucking genius, the things we can do nowadays that we can actually save money and, and, uh, and uh, produce things at a cheaper value for ourselves and kind of cut out more of the middlemen and and end up gaining more in the end yes neighbors are fighting <laughs> now let's get into this uh grapefruit paloma paloma however you guys want to pronounce it i apologize 
This guy smells like uh, piss, which is your traditional apple cider scent. It does have the bitterness and tart of grapefruit. It also holds that flavor. Um, the scent, there is no grapefruit flavor whatsoever. But it does taste like sweetened grapefruit, which um, makes for a pretty decent product. I actually enjoy this very much. And I would probably buy it again because it actually is very good. Um, so yeah, there's that. <clears throat> Let's get into the strawberry. Now this one doesn't smell like piss. And it has that very cidery scent to it. So it does taste like a margarita, you can really taste the agave mixed with the mild strawberry flavor. Um, but it's a lot heavier on the alcohol flavor side of things. Not very sweet. So I <clears throat> most likely wouldn't buy this product again. Or this, um, the strawberry part of the product, I probably wouldn't buy again. It just doesn't have what I'm looking for for my palate. Now with the pineapple. This is a very, 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 very touch hint of pineapple scent to it. Very, very light though. So you, you get a very, very light pineapple flavor to it, and you can really taste the acidity of it still. Like if you popped a fresh pineapple into your mouth. Um, it is kind of tangy, so be aware of that. But it doesn't really taste like a margarita, and I don't catch any of that agave flavor to it. Um, it's also not very sweet, so I wouldn't recommend this product either. Um, but overall, um, the grapefruit is the best. But if you're going to like buy any of these, that's the one you want to buy. And I wouldn't recommend that you buy um, the other two. I apologize. So... Overall, the score is going to knock it down because only grapefruit tastes good. Um, so it leaves us with a 5.2 out of 10. Sorry. But I'm Timothy Alamayam Jr. Thanks for watching my review. And until next time, fuck off.